I'm John Alder for DIYPhotography.net. We're back with Sam on the OWC stand to talk about some of their larger storage options. DIY Photography's coverage of IBC 2022 is sponsored by Sennheiser, the future of audio. Sackler, producer of professional tripods. And B&H, the professional source. So Sam, we've had a look at some of the smaller products that you make for independent creators and solo shooters and that kind of thing. What do you have for larger customers and teams who are 20, 30 people? Yeah, so basically once you graduate to two or three people, you're looking at a jellyfish. And this is the jellyfish ecosystem, which is Mac, Windows, Linux, uh, Premiere, DaVinci, Apple, Final Cut. It doesn't really matter. VFX, sound, all of these people. If you have a team of people who need to work together off of shared storage or in a shared environment, we make the jellyfish. And that is for creative teams who need to turn out content at a high level, 4K, 8K, 12K, it doesn't matter. Uh, what you're seeing here is a Mac, Windows, and Linux ecosystem of computers all running off of the Jellyfish R24, which is what's in the rack down at the end. See that in a second. But long story short, uh, we make the Jellyfish lineup for, it's for creative people, by creative people, and it is uh, designed for video professionals to work off the same place with no need for IT. And that's basically uh, the, the cornerstone of it. You can download the app and get it up and running within moments, or take the Jellyfish Mobile, put it on the table, collect, connect up a few people right at the back, and be editing live streaming ingest media in multicams off multiple machines immediately. Brilliant. So what sort of capacity and space do we have at Jellyfish? You can go anywhere from 32 terabytes uh, on the Jellyfish Mobile, which is 32 terabytes up to over 100 terabytes, but going over into multiple petabytes at the high end of the Jellyfish ecosystem. And the software is all the same. It all works the same way. It's just a question of how big you need to go. Right. And what about network speed? So basically, you're going to maximize a 10 gig pipe. Uh, you can use a ProDoc to connect to it over 10 gig. You can use the OWC 10 gig adapter. Uh, but you're going to basically take a Ethernet cable, plug it in, plug it into a Thunderbolt port, and you're going to get about 1,000 to 1,200 megabytes a second out of it. Brilliant. And then access it from everywhere. Ac there you go. Completely platform the software. Oh, independent. well, and you can also access it remotely. So for instance, if you were to combine something like the Flex 8 I was talking about earlier, with uh, a jellyfish, you could access the jellyfish and you can have them literally sync around the world as your own personal cloud and your own private cloud where basically creative teams, remote team members from around the world can go access what uh, your in-house editors are using and everyone works together. <laughs> That's it. Working from home, work in the office, it doesn't matter. So it, the Jellyfish has some support for the collaborative features that are built into applications about, like DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So basically, uh, if you're a Resolve editor or you're in the Resolve ecosystem, uh, it uh, runs a DaVinci Resolve collaborative database directly on the Jellyfish. If you are in the Adobe ecosystem, it runs uh, Adobe's Creative Teams flawlessly. And it also uh, shares Final Cut libraries better than any shared storage on the market. It's optimized for the way Final Cut libraries work. So no matter what editing platform you're using, or even if your team is using different editing platforms, or even if your team is working between Windows, Mac, and Linux, they all can work effectively right off the of Jellyfish. It doesn't matter. Brilliant. And the Jellyfish is a fairly recent announcement, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it basically, uh, OWC acquired LumaForge uh, just after the little bit into the pandemic, but this is the first uh, show IBC we've done with Jellyfish as the featured. So basically, if you're a large organization, you might get a Jellyfish, and then you might kit it out with the various parts of the OWC ecosystem, from the camera cards up through the docks, connecting into standalone storage for your remote editors, but then if you're in the office or, or uh, you're working in teams anywhere, a jellyfish is going to power your workflow. Brilliant. And what sort of prices to, the to buy into the Octopus system? What's it start at? Starting from 8K all the way up to you want wherever you need to go. <laughs> and that's the and, and it's flexible. And basically, if you're curious and you have questions, uh, set up a workflow call with one of the, the jellyfish people. 
and they will talk you through the ins and outs of what your team's workflow is, what your infrastructure is, and how to design the right solution for what you're doing. Brilliant, fantastic. Well, I think that's it from the OWC stand at IBC 2022. We're going to keep looking around, see what else we can find. Be sure to subscribe down below to stay up to date on what we find. And if you want to win $12,000 worth of cinema gear, don't forget to check the link in the description.